Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fishing North Atlantic. We are out here and let me tell you what, these waves are kind of big when you're in a small boat. So, let's just see how good money we can get on this trip. We got about $8,000 on the last trip. Nothing too shabby. Can't complain. Um, I need about $5,000 extra so we can uh, get some, um, so we can get a better knife. That is the plan. But uh, until we, you know, pretty much upgrade or something like that, we're kind of just screwed. So, we're just going to have to hope that we can do good and uh, so on and so forth. There's a 12-liner right there. Nothing too shabby. I mean, we can just only uh, hope that uh, we can do better at gutting because we're definitely going to have to. Uh, so, in the last episode, we went to Yarmouth. And uh, it, we, the lines are about 20 hours right now. So, it took a little bit longer than uh, than I expected. We're still going to get, you know, um, perfect yield from them um, because, you know, we're here on time, so they're still blue. Um, but the only thing is, is that because Yarmouth is a little bit further away than Dennis Point, we're just going to go to Dennis Point. I mean, we did make a little bit more money from Yarmouth, but uh, we're just going to go to Dennis Point. We may lose about $2,000 or something like that. I mean, but there's just, there's uh, nothing we can really do about it. Because, I mean, right now we need to do everything we can to save money. We got about $3,700 in the bank. And, uh, like I said, we need to make and save all the money we can get so we can uh, try to progress through this. So, that is the first cut that we're going to be doing. Um, is just trying to uh, stay close to uh, to port and so on and so forth. Like I said, oh, $3,300, almost $3,400. So, it's actually $300 less than I thought we had which is uh, even worse. Uh, but anyway, that's the plan so far, is that uh, we're just going to go to Dennis Point, and we're just going to keep uh, keep trying to stay as close to the port as we can so we don't have to burn through as much fuel. Fuel right now is about twenty two to $2,700 uh, for a full tank right now, so we're just going to have to keep that in mind. Everything adds up right now, so uh, we're definitely going to have to move places because uh, we're getting worse fish right now than what we were and uh, hopefully we can still keep the boat getting filled up like uh, the storage right now is only 22,000 uh, so it's nothing major we're definitely gonna have to start moving somewhere and trying to get another tip uh, and hopefully trying to find better fish uh, either pollock or cod or redfish or something so we got a long ways to go and a uh, short time to get there so well, I guess technically a long time to get there, but, you know, it's a song. So anyway, so we're, <laughs> we're going to try uh, to save all the money we can get and, uh, you know, and just hold on to that. Our loan payment is basically $5,100 a month. We got two years to do that in uh, right now because we're late la yesterday. It's actually uh, the 3rd. Yeah, it's the 3rd of January, uh, and uh, I started this this part of the series uh december 31st and we didn't pay the loan we didn't have enough money and so they added on 850 dollars or 0.5 percent uh so uh don't want to do that again definitely want to pay back our loan and uh definitely want to uh you know try to keep in the positive right now uh it's definitely gonna be uh gonna be a long trip it's gonna be a long haul but hopefully we can uh, continue to keep getting money uh, in the boat so that we can, uh, you know, continue our, our processes forward. Definitely wasn't the smartest idea to quit going tuna fishing right now. Uh, I just wanted something different. So, but anyway, now that we have uh, a year-round fishery right now, we'll probably have to uh, continue doing this solo uh, for a while until, uh, I mean, basically until we get to deep lining, and then we can either go deep lining or harpooning. Uh, harpoon will be cheaper, a uh, little bit expensive on gas or fuel, uh, but it will be a little bit cheaper because you don't have to buy uh, deep lines and, and bait them and stuff like that. But hopefully money will not be a problem uh, as soon as we get there. So hopefully, like I said, hopefully money won't be a problem. We can just get everything squared away and not have to worry about it. Uh, but anyway, that's the plans for now. Is just trying to keep afloat, trying to keep, uh, trying to keep the bills paid, and so on and so forth. If we got to do all the work, then uh, so be it, right? So, 
anyway with that being said thank you everybody for tuning in it does truly mean a lot that you guys are here and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series right now we're at 872 subscribers so thank you to every single one of them every single one of you uh, for being here, clicking like, uh, liking, commenting, and subscribing just truly mean a lot. And like I said, if you want to help out the channel, uh, feel free to share the video to your friends, family, whoever you think would like this, uh, these kind of videos. And uh, hopefully there will be more uh, variety uh, in the coming future, uh, near future, I should say. Um, got some big plans coming up, and just hopefully everything works out. So. Um, so thank you much to every single one of you. It does truly mean a lot. But anyway, we got two more lines to go. Uh, and we got about, you might as well just say half the boat filled. A little bit over half the boat filled. And we got two lines. So hopefully we can continue on the, uh, the go track instead of the bad track. And hopefully we can uh, just keep filling this boat up. Because that's what we really need to do. Uh, 13 fish, that's not great. But uh, it's definitely better than 8 fish. So with that being said... Uh, we're probably going to have to start moseying around a little bit more. Um, basically, we're just on this, you know, like we got this tip, and that's where I've been fishing, like right on top of the tip. I haven't been doing what I normally have been doing and uh, moving around trying to find the mass school of fish. Uh, but like right now, we just don't necessarily have the gas money or fuel money to be doing that. So we're just kind of just trying to stay close to where we know where the fish are. Uh, but it's definitely looking like we need to start moving outward and uh, branching our horizons uh, to see where the fish are. Because, uh, yeah, we need money, like, real bad. Like, right now, if we went in and we caught absolutely nothing, we would only get money for fuel. <laughs> we wouldn't really have money to uh, bait the lines or anything. Even though baiting the lines is pretty cheap, it's probably, like, you know, about $1,000 if I had to guess or less. Uh, but anyway, we have to uh, have to think about all the expenses uh, together as one. So there's 4,000. We got 7,000 pounds that we got to go. This may actually be the first time that we won't fill up the boat. Um, so definitely got to keep that in mind. Um, but anyway, yeah, this is uh, the hardest difficulty you can get. The, the habitats are shrunk. Uh, the di uh, difficulty. So, actually, no. So, everything is shrunk. Everything is, like, the smallest you can get. Um, and then, you know, hopefully we can make it. Because this this is the first time we've been trying it. I don't know. It's a little bit of a challenge. It makes the game a little bit more exciting. I know uh, a lot of people, especially in the Discord server, uh, has been saying, you know, that the game's pretty much stale. Uh, they want a new boat or something like that. And, and honestly, if you guys like the game and you want a challenge, do this. This is definitely... Uh, what a good challenge, I think, you know, because everybody, especially like in the easy mode, everyone's used to just, you know, going out, catching fish, upgrading the boat, like the first two or three uh, things, getting the loan, bada bing, bada boom, got the big boat, you know, 30, about 30 hours or so, probably even less than that, uh, you have the uh, Atlantic Catcher, no, is that what it is, Atlantic Catcher, I think, the $29 million boat, and then, you know, you're done. Well, I challenge you guys to do exactly what I'm doing. Put it on the hardest difficulty. Don't have the, you know, the, the fisher helper thing uh, to hook up the line and stuff like that. Just just try that and let's see, you know, if that uh, livens up the game again. Uh, to me it does, but, uh, you know, of course, I like the game. Uh, the game's been uh, pretty big on the channel as of lately. Actually, it has been ever since I started it on the channel. And so... Uh, Again, I thank you all for that. But, uh, yeah, definitely give it a whirl. If Oh, I missed that one. I was not paying attention. Uh, but, yeah, you, so if you guys want that, then definitely give it a whirl because it is uh, pretty entertaining. So we did not fill up the boat. For the first time, we were about 2,000 pounds or about eh, about 16,000 pounds or 1,600. Think about life. Uh, about 15 to 1,600 pounds shy. So we're just going to go up a little bit up here. There we go. Now we got a little bit more variety of fish up here. So we're just going to come out here, hopefully keep the boat intact. And then we're just going to start setting here and then hopefully, uh, you know, find a new school of fish uh, because we definitely need that. Can I see it from out here? Not really. Oh, come on. 
Can I change this? Can I change you? Yes, I can. So theoretically, you can do that. That's fantastic. The boat slowed down. Not... Eh, we got one redfish. I mean, at least there was something. So we'll just keep that an eye on that. And we'll just keep on going. Let's stay back here so we can see it. Try not to go inside and screw anything up. The crab is definitely for, uh, for cod. Definitely some haddock underneath the boat. Nothing... Nothing too crazy. I like how uh, I did not do that. There's no controls out here. And yet somehow I'm still driving the boat. Love it. Yeah, those are definitely haddock still. I'll just keep going forward here. There we go. And there's another one. So as soon as this one gets out... So we'll just pick up the next line and keep on going. And then we get to go hooking again, or gutting, and uh, try to try to figure out how to do that. Gee whiz, let me tell you what. The, the gutting in this game is very difficult. I never, uh, haven't seemed to figure it out yet. So it is kind of difficult, but we're, we're trying to figure it out, you know. Uh, that's all we can do. We're definitely getting, like, negative 32% of yield, so we're definitely getting more fish. For uh, more money, if I didn't screw it up. But, uh, you know, can't complain because we're not good at it. We're still uh, we're still a greenhorn at heart, you know. Even though I've been playing the game for two, almost three years, or two years. Still a greenhorn at heart. So we'll just have to, uh, can, you know, have to think about that. Actually, let's return that. Where is the other one? Oh, that is the last one. Okay, then. Didn't realize that we have five lines on do on the on the deck. This is actually a good way to do it. You know, always have five lines on the deck, um, and then not have to worry about nothing. Let's see, any fish underneath? Oh, there's a red fish down there. But a lot more, lot more haddock. As soon as this hit 500, okay, that was strange. Boat started just doing whatever it wanted. So as, the, as soon as that happens, then we'll uh, continue. Oh, there's a crab. There's two redfish, three redfish. Yeah, about three redfish, bunch of haddock. So they're definitely up here. So we'll get a haddock here and we'll throw that right there. And then we could potentially throw that out, but no, well, we'll just keep that on the on the dealio for now. And then now we're good. So let's. This is when I wish I had a uh, an autopilot. And we could just start heading in. Twenty thousand pounds. All right, let's go. All right, we're off to a great start at two and a quarter. Oh, now we're at even less. And even less. And even less. Okay, let's move the hand or the mouse over some more. There we go. Can I step back? Can we? Yep, that was my fault. Hit the wrong button. There we go. Now we're getting the three star there. What if I just hold it? Well, that was a fail. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily matter how long you hold it, it doesn't seem. So just trying to do different things and... Oh, oh God. Oh, God, that was terrible. I keep hitting the wrong damn button. Completely my fault. Oh, well. Hopefully we can buy an upgraded 10%. I think it's like a plastic knife or something or other. And then you get 10% extra. So hopefully that'll help us out. Because we definitely need all the help we can get. At least it's not, you know, rough and the water's not coming inside the boat. And the wind's howling. So, we, you know, at least that's that's going for us. Just 
still... Oh, there's a little bit of a wave there. Oh, that was terrible. Wasn't even following the line. Good enough for me, I guess, because I can't complain. That was even worse. Oh my goodness, how can we do so good last episode, which is literally, I just got done recording that one. And now all of a sudden I can't gut to save my life. It's like I, ha I haven't even gotten one three star yet. Like, what are we doing here? Yep, that was a terrible one. Just, you might as well just, you know... You you might as well go into into the dock and just like yep you uh, you got them because I don't want to deal with it. Oh, here's a cod. Let's try not to screw that one up. Here's a Pollock, and we screwed that one up. There we go. Oh, here's a redfish. Screw that one up too. Beautiful, great, fantastic. Screwed the pooch out of that one. All right, four hours. Oh, yeah, so we saved four hours in fishing in the same spot. So going to Yarmouth, you spend four more hours. So we, it's about an eight-hour or 16-hour round trip, and this is probably going to be about, you know, only a little less. Uh, 5,000, yep, I knew that was happening. Okay, sell catch, fish market, shop. I'm going to buy the knife. There we go. Thank you. Check out. So 3000 Hopefully we have enough money for uh, the fishing gear. Bait long lines. Uh, and then... Uh, should we go for something else? I mean... We'll just keep that. T 2200 bucks. So we're back down to $1,400. And then we might as well take this. And maintenance. And... Can't afford it. Okay, so what can I... Oh, here. Let's just go there. There we go. Now we're back down to zero dollars again. Oh, daggummit. Okay, well, anyway, thank you all so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. It does truly mean a lot. We are living the uh, the broke life, let me tell you what. But anyway, hopefully sooner or later we'll start, you know, making some money. How much is, since we're here, how much is an upgraded storage? Storage is $50,000. So 15000 so we're probably going to have to buy every single one, one at a time. So 15000 if we sold the Mickey, I don't really want to. But at this rate, we may just have to. Uh, owned, I think the Mickey, we can sell for $13,000. May have to just do that to start making some more money. I don't know yet. We'll just have to wait and see. But thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Gifts truly mean a lot. I'll catch you all in the next one, and you all take care. Bye.